Hi, I'm Tom Summers with Coldwell Banker Burnett. I'm a licensed real estate agent in the state of Minnesota. I primarily work the Minneapolis St. Paul metro area, and I do blogs along with a first time home buyers podcast with my co host Eric McKenna, where I answer different questions for buyers as well as home sellers regarding real estate. Today I'm going to answer the question Are real estate taxes deductible? Most people that ask this question are actually asking about the property taxes that each one of us as homeowners pay every year. If that is what you're thinking and one of the reasons you clicked onto this podcast, the answer to that question is yes. But I want to caution you by saying that every single state is different. So it depends on where you live and it depends on what your tax bracket is. So I'm just going to give you a couple of basic outline ideas of how this works so that you can better understand the value. So one of the reasons many people purchase a home is they know that the interest that they pay on their loan every year is deductible. But many don't realize that you can also write off all of the property taxes. So that's another extra incentive of why owning a home versus renting can be to your advantage. So if you are, say, a married couple and you're in the 25% tax bracket, which I believe is currently um, $76,000 to $153,000. If you are paying, say, $4,000 a year in property tax, you're going to save about 25%. So you'll save about $1,000 a year owning a home just off the property tax. And this doesn't get into the interest deduction. But the thing that you want to understand is that with renting a home versus owning a home. There are some places that give you some type of a renter credit depending on the state, which can be a small nominal fee. But owning a home with the interest deduction and the tax deduction really can save you considerable amounts of money. So let's say you made $80,000 this year and you've got $10,000 worth of interest payments and you've got another $4,000 in property taxes. Well, that's a total of $14,000 that you can take right off of the top of the $80,000, which means then you would start paying taxes on $66,000 rather than paying federal taxes on $80,000. Now, this isn't factoring in any of your other deductions or the child care credit or any of that. Just speaking in very broad terms, you can save a considerable amount of money every year. So in this scenario, let's say you are uh, a total of $14,000. You're basically saving about $291 a month on your monthly uh, payment. So it makes renting look even more expensive because you're saving that through your deductions at the end of the year. Call a tax professional or a CPA in your area Sit down with them if you're thinking about buying a home and go over all these scenarios and you'll be surprised at how much money you can save. If you're in the Minneapolis-St. Paul metro area and you have questions, please feel free to give me a call or send me an email. Thanks for tuning in today and watch for other podcasts and other blogs that I do. Again, Tom Summers, Coldwell Banker Burnett. Thanks for tuning in and have a wonderful day.